went a little heavy there. <laughs> Man's gotta do what he's gotta do. And I went really heavy there. But I had some, a lot of pitting right here. So I just laid it in there. And tank is done. Just gotta get the sending unit now. We do the straps. I use the U-pole Raptor liner. It's easy peasy. Uh, so we got the tank now done. And we'll be moving on to tank straps. Sending unit fuel lines. And I have a I got a roll of 3.8 stainless tubing. And uh, stuff's really hot to bend. You can't really bend it with the traditional little aluminum. A little aluminum. Uh, the little aluminum tubing benders, you know? They're gonna be like soft top copper and stuff and mild steel, but that stainless that I have. It is, it's a bear. So my cousin Joey has a bigger bender. It's got a longer handle, it's a little beefy. It's kind of what like uh, the Rick, Fick ha uh, Rick Fix has when he was doing his. So the hood is still turtling on its back like a turtle trying to get up. And, uh, but I wanted to get that done. So that's done. Tanked it. Tanked it. So progress. And the interior of the tank is actually really clean, really clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some rags afterwards and just go in there and just put some lack of thinner and swirl it around and sop it all up with the rags afterwards. But I think this thing's a save. Hopefully it is. Because they're like a buck and a half for a new tank for this thing. I ain't got the cake. I ain't got the cake. So... Tanks uh, wrapped up and wrapped the liner. And it looks good. I'm happy with it. Really like it. I really like the texture of it and uh, I really like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit more on my frig rig. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.